I know kung fu. Yippee ki mother Ready to go. We're gonna leave the sandbox. I'm gonna take you guys with us. What's up, guys? It's that content king guy here, Daniel Bachi, and today we are in Pangna at the Borsan Villas. We got to leave leave the uh, sandbox. They just um, eased some restrictions so we don't need to have a COVID test or anything like that when um, returning to, to Phuket. As long as you're vaccinated, you can kind of travel domestically throughout the country. Um, so we decided to take advantage of that. So let's go check out this, uh, this villa here. Not a bad stay. I think I paid uh, maybe 2,000 baht a night. It's like a proper proper villa. We have a little pool as well, private pool, and a little view of like the limestone rocks and uh, Penga. I'm looking at this photo, uh, this painting. I'm like, oh, lovely painting, right? But check it out. It's like, it's like, it looks like a, you know, a couple engaging in sexual activities. And then there's like two little perverts like staring at them through the window. Which I think is odd. I mean, I, I like the art. I think it's that, that, that's artistic, that's creative, that's really cool. But like for a hotel, like a family one, you know, I don't know. It's a little, a little uh, strange. See, a little perverts over there. What are you guys doing? The show, pre show. Today we are going to the Simalan Islands. They just opened up like two days ago. Um, actually, I've never been to the to the Simalan Islands. Living here in Thailand for uh, going on 13 years and it's my first little trip. So uh, Simalan Islands is part of uh, the Peng Na. It's a national park. It's called Simalan. Simalan is the number nine in, uh, in uh, Malaysian language. Um, representing the nine islands that we're gonna go check out. So let's, let's go. I'm not a huge fan of like group, group tours. It's just not me. Like some people, they just, that's their thing. Like. You know, I've been to over 20 countries in the world and I just never do it. Like this is my second or third group trip ever, even even domestically here in Thailand. It's just like being like ushered along, you know? It's just not my, not my cup of tea, but you can't visit islands like this without being on a group tour. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Similar Islands, or one of them. It's our first stop. 
beautiful got a little overcast in the in the house good for the white skin to keep the complexion you know what i'm saying um what i will say is the ride here i think it from the pier to here was like an hour felt like an hour and a half or two hours of eternity speedboat goes super fast and uh it's very bumpy so if you get seasick you're gonna get seasick take that little pill i normally don't like i've obviously been living on these islands forever so uh this one got me a little bit a little bit queasy and my son if you got a kid don't bring your kid unless unless he's like six or seven or older my three-year-old i mean he was crying most of the time it was unbearable normally he's really good but um it was really loud he was scared i think he had maybe you know felt sick as well so that wasn't fun it was excruciating and i felt so bad you know as a parent when your kid cries and you can't help them there's nothing you can do it's just it's heartbreaking really um i get really sensitive I'm not a sensitive guy but when it comes to my boy you know i may have cried a little bit anyways <laughs> anyways be cautious bring any kid and i uh, maybe bring some uh bring an ipad that's what i'll do next time if there's a next time Bring an iPad for your kid and some earphones so he doesn't have all that noise, you know? Poor little guy. But he's chilling now. He's hanging out by the beach. You know, traveling doesn't always go as you planned it. And trying to make these YouTube videos, man, <laughs> uh, definitely never goes the way you planned it. And um, gotta roll with the punches. So first off, I wanna thank Kun Gift of Andaman Travel and Tours. Um, she did sponsor my trip, so shout out to her and her company. Go check her out. You know, when you visit these Paradise Islands, it's got to be sunny. And you know, if you have an overcast, it's just not you're not going to capture the beauty and things like that. And and not to say you can't enjoy it, but let's just say my trip didn't go as 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 planned. Um, partially because me and my wife are a little bit selfish. We didn't really think about our our lovely little three year old son. Um, he was it just it right from the beginning we got on the boat and as soon as the boat started going and picked up speed and it, he was just crying unbearably like my son never cries like that it's that's really the first time i've ever seen it it just wasn't okay so it set the tone for the rest of the trip and unfortunately it just with the weather, you couldn't capture the beauty. The waves at the shorelines at each island were super rough. Um, it made it very difficult to get on and off the boat, especially with camera equipment and a three-year-old. Yeah, so we got like pretty rough waters as you can see today. It's overcast, so we don't have that blue sky, that iconic blue sky with the, you can see blue waters, but it's just not crystal clear like it would be if that sun was kind of reflecting, you know? It's too bad, so I'm definitely going to come back at some point in my life, my youngish life, and uh, do it without the kid because it's been a little bit difficult today. And that was pretty rough, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So when you're grumpy and you're trying to create content, enjoy yourself, it's, it's very difficult. So uh, I guess I didn't talk to the camera like I wanted to. I didn't engage and I didn't film the things I would like. I kind of had to like force myself to do it because I was there. So this is the kind of challenges uh, us creators have <laughs> creating content. It just never goes as the plan and, and sometimes those things are good. Sometimes you get, you know, things don't go to plan and ends up creating a really cool story. But unfortunately, this wasn't one of those times. Ah, let's take a break. That's nice. Whew. Yeah, so getting out, really want to come back here Maybe on my own, or maybe me, me and the missus, when we have some better weather. Because you gotta come here, and I wanna get some really awesome video. I gotta ask for, I couldn't fly the drone because I didn't know I had to ask permission like days before we come on the trip and get some paperwork done or something like that to fly the drone. I'd like to do that, get some proper like snorkeling uh, video footage for you guys. You know, the, the waters were super clear, but it was just a, it was just a bit dark because it's overcast and there's just no sunshine. So, you know, did my best. Whew. If you were to ask me, would you come here or PP Island? I'd say PP Island. If you asked me to come here or huh, the National Park in Koh Samui, 
Where the hell, how do I get up there? Oh wow. Anyways, let's focus on not getting lost. <laughs> I gotta go over here, check it out. All right, over there. Over there. Somehow, and I gotta crawl in between those rocks. I wonder if one of these boulders fell. Am I talking too much? Okay. Thinking too much, talking too much, feeling too much. Oh yeah, this is it. All on top of the world. Adrian, I made it. That was definitely worth it. It wasn't too bad of a hike, really. Not at all. I didn't think it was going to be as nice as, as it is. I really wish, again, sunshine. Sunshine makes a big difference. But, I mean, even this, you can see the blue waters. Ah, beautiful white sandy beach. It's nice to come here now. You know, this time time period in Thailand where there's still not many tourists. I think there might be 20 people on this beach right now in total. The elbow is very high. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, these people sitting on the edge are crazy. Crazy. <laughs> uh, scary bit. I don't like heights, so. That's beautiful. I can't get enough of that. Definitely. I think the whole trip, the highlight is really coming up and seeing this. Like if, if I could just come here on a sunny day and just come up to this viewpoint, I'd be happy. Maybe 10 minutes snorkeling, you probably snorkel over here somewhere. I don't need to go on a boat and go place to place and island to island. Like just sit up here and just chill, have a picnic, you know? The only reason we went to, to Pang Na on this trip is to visit Similin Islands. And unfortunately, we had some bad weather and obviously some obstacles having a, a three-year-old. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't what we expected, but hey, we made the best of it. And uh, now, whether you're staying in Peng Na or you're driving through it on your way to Phuket, there's actually some some couple stops that you can make really quick that's uh, worthwhile. Our first stop, we go to. A, a temple inside of a cave really cool uh, it's very easy to find right on the way to Phuket literally 15 15 minutes before you enter Phuket uh, you could find this temple um, really cool place you can go feed the monkeys check it out it's got the reclining or sleeping Buddha golden sleeping Buddha and just just a cool little stop oh my god look at all these monkeys so be really careful guys coming back to Thailand uh, normally these monkeys relied on tourists to kind of feed them they would always sell like bananas and things and uh, but since the lack of tourism these are hungry and a little bit more aggressive monkeys yeah look at that there's a cat in the middle there <laughs> just chilling there's a little cat you see that yeah. that's, a dog. that's a dog it's a, it's a small dog yeah, he's like I ain't scared of no monkeys. Right now there's like nobody here. It's just... Ah, all the shops are closed down and um, we are the only ones here. Good photo. So that that is the golden lying Buddha here. Really cool, like the setting, you know, you got the inside of a cave, it's just really unique. And if you want to get your fortune told, you can right here. Look at that. So you put in uh, some money and take some card. I've done it before a long time ago, but you gotta read it in Thai. You have someone to read it read it for you. Let's go check it out upstairs. It smells like monkey shit here. Big time. 
the King Ramanine visited this place and he drew some mural. A signature, he put a signature, royal signature on the wall here. That's cool. How many, how many years ago? 62 years ago. 62 years ago, so this one, right? The second one. This is this one, that's him? Yeah. The Ramanine. Yeah, I know, I've been there before. Hmm? Hog head? Ah. What is that? Brayon Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> okay. He's trying to point something out. I'm not 100% I see something right here. Alright, so over here we have a really dark tunnel. You can hear kind of like... You can hear the water and you can hear the, the bats flying around. Um, normally there's some... I've been here before and there was usually little lights on, but the lights are off, so... I'm not gonna walk there. It's just a dead end anyways, but... You should do it. Not me, but you. <laughs> Pretty aggressive. <laughs> yeah, they're really hungry. <laughs> yeah, these monkeys, man, they're really aggressive. I mean, especially, again, especially now because there hasn't been tourists around, so they're hungry, and whenever they do see a tourist feeding them, it's like they just kind of do the alpha male thing, you know? Like that poor little monkey got bit. And also the really famous restaurant we stopped by, uh, it's just over the bridge in Phuket, like underneath the bridge, Michelin starred uh, local kind of Thai cuisine, mainly Southern Thai food, um, but they have a wide variety of things. So you should find something you like on the menu worth, worth stopping by and getting a bite. It's a place I think everybody stops when they're on the way to Phuket, right when they get here and they have some lunch before uh, checking into their hotels, so let's go check it out. Oh, look at the dinosaurs. <laughs> that is perfect. So we got like the appetizer showed up. I got some sum tum. I was just craving like a spicy salad. And uh, we got fried fried fish, fried chicken. Gang sum. I don't eat gang sum. Gang sum. It's a gang sum is a little fishy for me. Like I'm not a big fish fan. The fish doesn't taste like that fishy fish taste. I like it. <laughs> but this is like it's just a bit too much. Kind of wraps it up. And if you managed to get this far into the video, I really appreciate you. <laughs> Again, this blog, this this particular video just didn't go the way I wanted it to, from A to B to C to Z. But you know. That's kind of life. I'm learning as I go. You know, filming, again, filming for myself versus filming for other people are two different things when it comes to directing. And when you're kind of directing your own life and you're actually living it and it's not, you know, a film set where I do have to tend to my son and my wife and, and we are going to destinations to actually try to enjoy them as well. Um, putting these things together sometimes just, it's catastrophic. <laughs> but, that being said, I've seen a lot worse here on YouTube, so I, I don't feel that bad. You know, I gotta end it with a thank you for watching, press like, subscribe. See you guys next year. Next time.